Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now what you're seeing in the background is not what this video is entirely about. No, this is about our DAV's missile script, which is an absolutely fantastic player made missile script that works exceptionally well. So what is it exactly? So as you know on some ship designs they have custom built missiles which is simply warheads attached to a merge block, they have a gyroscope on them and they have thrusters and they get launched straight forwards off into the distance at your enemies instead of using the traditional actual weapon system built into the game. What this script does is basically make it so the missiles behave like a normal missile. When you get very close to an enemy you'll get a lock on sound and then you can launch the missile and they'll very very accurately track the target and go for it. Now there have been other missile scripts like this in the past but they haven't been entirely accurate and they've been a bit of a hit and miss type scenario. So anyway, this ship here is the MiG-15, it's nothing special, the developer also made this little ship to show off his little script mod. So let's just hop in here and I'll show you how to activate it. So getting into the cockpit right here, I'm going to press I to bring up the menu and then we're going to go to the control panel. Now I'm going to search for a programmable block which is this. Now you need a programmable block to run the script because it's not an actual blueprint or something you add in in the mod menu when you start a new game. You have to come to a programmable block, click edit, browse your scripts, find your scripts which will be this one, press ok and press ok and now the script is loaded as you can see here it's all ready and we're ready to go. For the missiles themselves it's a little bit different as you can see you have to actually name the missiles a special way but that's all set out on the actual web page on the Steam Workshop because I'm not going to go through all of it. You just basically put hashtag a hashtag for the missiles and then the script will run off that because that's how it recognizes the missiles you can fire. So if I now come up here there's nothing that special about the ship itself we have a machine gun the second button is a script, we have a camera and we have a piston on the bottom there with some lights. Let's just go for a full 360 in case you are interested in the ship. So there we go, that's the ship, that's the machine guns, nice load of machine guns in there, absolutely fantastic. But now let's actually test the script. So what I'm going to do is fly over to one of these pirates. So the fun fact about this missile script is the fact that I can launch it over here, despite the fact it won't lock on until you're at... 800 meters away from the targets, it will still fly in that direction but when it actually gets within range it will still lock itself on and go for the target so if you do fire early it will still do its job. So I'm desperately trying to slow down here, that's the only problem with this little plane itself, it's a proper plane, you can't really slow it down. So here we go, I'm now aiming away from the actual station so what I'm basically going to do is like a typical bombing run if you're familiar with heroes in general so here we go I've now got the sound and now I can press the missiles there you go and now they're all launching in at the target like so and they've all successfully hit I'm now going to come down and quickly well not quickly in fact looks like I'm going to suicide bomb that place Okay, so I'm spawned back at the base again and I'm spawned in a new ship. Luckily, when you spawn in this ship specifically, it has the script already loaded, so you don't actually have to worry about using the script in itself. So what I'm now going to show you is the fact that the missiles can themselves lock on when they actually get close to the target without you being in range yourself. Okay, so there is the enemy in the distance. What I'm going to do now is launch a missile. Now, the missile has just literally pissed off into space, and now I'm going to gun it towards this base over here and hopefully it's going to do what I think it's going to do. As you can see there is the missile over there, it's just doing whatever it wants to do really. And I'm just going to fly past here, let's just piss off the base. There we go, they should be nice and pissed off. And then as soon as I get into range, the missile should just snap to the target. I'm now in range and the missile is going straight for it. Which is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? So there comes some... Oh god, there goes the missiles. Evasive maneuvers. And launch a missile there. And it should just keep going for it. Keep launching the missiles. So you can literally do a full-on dogfight with these missile scripts. So now what I'm going to demonstrate is one of the most important parts of this script. So I'm going to hop into here and get into the seats. I did reload the game and activate drones. Because this script, unlike the other scripts is very good at targeting moving objects. 
so you could be moving at high speeds and your target can be moving at high speeds and it will still lock on and have a very good attempt at hitting the target. Almost 90% of the time it will hit the target. Okay, so I finally found a little drone and as you can see over there, it's going to come and meet me which will be a very bad idea for the actual drone itself. So now it's in range, I'm just going to launch the missiles away here. And... Well, that worked better than I expected. It really, really did. Bloody hell. So anyway, that is it for this video. Both the ship and the script itself will be in the description below. I highly recommend you try out this script. It is very, very useful to actually use. And I'll be back with another Space Engineers video some point soon. Bye bye.